Hi everyone, Mayor Cam Guthrie here, and it's an absolute pleasure to talk to you today about an amazing leader in our community, and that is President Charlotte Yates of the University of Guelph. I, I knew her briefly just before she became the president, and there was just something about her right away. Her character, her way with people, the way she uh, built people up the way she spoke about others uh, those characteristics those traits about her just automatically say what a wonderful person she is and then when we talk about her leadership now as the president uh, she has been phenomenal throughout this entire issue of COVID over the last year she's been decisive she's been transparent uh, and I just can't thank her enough for actually the leadership that she has there at the university during this time. Hi, I'm Indira Naidu Harris, the AVP of Diversity and Human Rights at the University of Guelph. I've had the great honor of working with Dr. Charlotte Yates to advance equity, diversity, and inclusion in our university community. And I want you to know that you couldn't have chosen a better person to recognize as a woman of distinction this year. And I can tell you that her efforts to support every member of the U of G community is unwavering, especially during these unprecedented times. Charlotte took the reins during one of the university's most turbulent moments in our history, a time when our institution was facing a pandemic, a time when the needs of our community for assistance, support and guidance were at an incredibly demanding and challenging moment. And Charlotte doesn't disappoint. She stood tall, strong, and made the hard, courageous decisions necessary to take care of our U of G family. Charlotte has certainly seen a lot in her past six years at the University of Guelph, five as provost and now as president. But I don't think anyone in any capacity was prepared for what she had to deal with this year in this incredible pandemic. She led the university Guelph's largest employer. Through this pandemic, with an open heart, a clear mind, and an open ear, listening to the advisors and what they had to say. Congratulations, Charlotte. No one is more deserving of a Woman of Distinction Award than you. Hi, I'm Helen Fishburne, the CEO of the Canadian Mental Health Association, Waterloo Wellington. And this year I've had the honor of working side by side with Dr. Anne-Marie Zadlik as we've co-hosted a monthly webinar series to help our community find the balance. What can I say about Anne-Marie? She has been an incredible support to our community this year. She, as you all know, is a bit of a science nerd and she's taken reliable scientific data and information and she's broken it down into bite-sized pieces for us so that we could understand the physical science and keep ourselves physically safe through this pandemic. And she's wrapped that information in compassion and empathy so that we can also pay attention to the mental health part of this journey. Hi there, my name is Tracy Curtis. I am the chair of the board of Bracelet of Hope Bracelet of Hope is a charity that Anne-Marie founded over 15 years ago. I feel very blessed to work with Anne-Marie. So we are working together with the board of directors on helping people in Lesotho, Africa that have been affected by the AIDS, HIV AIDS pandemic. So we have six foster homes, we have a mobile health unit and doing wonderful work there. So Anne-Marie will work all day uh, tirelessly to help people in her clinic and then she comes home and researches, reads, and writes her Facebook posts to, to make sure that people are educated because we know that when people are educated, they are also powerful and they make good decisions. Um, and that must be so hard for her. So we're so grateful because those posts are reaching thousands and thousands of people. And uh, when you read through the comments, everyone is just so grateful that she takes the time to do so. So Amory you're making such a, a wonderful difference. So thank you for all of the work that you do. Um, and don't stop, we need you, we're here to support you. And we're here working with you on this um, crazy journey and we'll get through it, we'll get through it together. So congratulations on your Women of Distinction Award. We're very proud of you and um, thank you for all you do. 
Hi, my name is Debbie and I'm here today to talk to you about Queen. I believe that she is a woman of distinction through her hard work, her perseverance and her undying passion for creating a better and a safer place for people to live. She has impacted me through my own personal business as a photographer by creating magic with me, introducing me to other people within the community and helping me learn more and more about what's happening through the Black Lives Matter movement. I believe that her efforts will continue to reside within the communities within Guelph and surrounding areas. I'm so happy that she's reaching so many people through her platforms on social media and I'm so happy to be here alongside her as she changes the world. Hi everyone, my name is Vanessa. Um, Queen is my business partner, my roommate, my best friend everything I ever need in a human, it's queen. Um, when I think of woman of distinction, excellence, all of those things, the first person that comes to my mind immediately is queen. She always says like, I'm just trying to make a difference. She's always out there doing all those things. And I'm lucky enough to see the behind the scenes. We live in the same house. We do everything together. Um, so I see the hard work and everything that goes into it. So it's, very heartwarming to know that other people also see that as well. Congratulations, you deserve this more than anything and I love you literally from the bottom of my heart. I wouldn't be here without you. So thank you for all that you do and you are incredible. Queen, as a woman of distinction, congratulations. Where do I start in highlighting who you are and all of your achievements? I could probably take all day as a leader in our community, you are trusted, and you have stood up at the forefront of such an important movement this year uh, and last um, as we embarked on a new chapter in the change for anti-racism. Queen, you are such a selfless leader uh, and you're a true voice for the BIPOC community and for women in our city. I look forward to seeing your continued success as a leader in this space as you have stood up at the forefront um, at such an important and impactful time um, for everyone. Queen, congratulations. You're a true light for so many, both in good times and in bad. And I, I just think you're so well deserving of this award and this honor around um, among so many distinguished uh, fellow honorees. So congratulations. Um, all the best, and I cannot wait to watch you continue to shine and succeed. Hello everybody, my name is Queen, and I am so grateful and honored for this opportunity to be an honoree for the Women of Distinction 2021. On June 6, 2020, we led a protest here in solidarity with the movement of Black Lives Matter. This allowed space for Guelph to work on anti-racism, diversity, and acknowledge the situations that were happening for our Black communities, mass incarceration, police violence, and murder. This year, we are working towards celebrating Black excellence, celebrating the kings and queens that we are, and continuing the mandate and support in BIPOC opportunities, whether that be in the educational space, the social justice space, or just in our everyday space like the arts. Again, I thank you so much, and I remind you, now is the time to stand up, step up. Do not get complacent and take risks with unearned benefits. We are working towards a better world together. Thank you. Hi, I'm Helen Fishburne, CEO of the Canadian Mental Health Association, Waterloo Wellington, and I've had the honor of working alongside Cindy Forsyth as we've been developing the Integrated Youth Services Network here. First and foremost, Cindy is a mother. She has channeled her frustration and pain of advocating for the needs of her family in a siloed system into a call to action. And she's invited many of us into that call to action, including the groups that she has been working with for years, with Guelph Rotary, the Y Children's Foundation, as well as many of us as service providers. We are coming together to create a seamless model of care for youth so that they can access care and have better outcomes. That will result in seven physical hub sites across our region, as well as realizing a $10 million capital campaign. We would not be here without the dogged determination and perseverance of Cindy Forsyth. Cindy Forsyth, congratulations, young lady. 
Um, it's been an honor to work with you um, from day one as we uh, sought to address uh, youth mental health needs in the community and indeed in Wellington County. And you've taken the ball from that first breakfast meeting where we started it all to where we've gotten to now and where we will get to in the future. You've been the driving force. Um, your energy is limitless. Uh, your ability to organize and delegate is off the charts and we wouldn't be anywhere close to where we are. Um, I, I really hate to think of where we might be without you driving the bus. So uh, winning this award is well deserved and uh, I couldn't be happier and more thrilled. On behalf of Anita and I, I want to congratulate you and indeed my larger family, uh, the Rotary Club of Guelph, would also like to congratulate you. We're proud that you're one of our members, proud of the job you have done and are doing and will do. From the bottom of my heart, I just want to extend the most sincere of congratulations uh, to an incredible woman, a fierce leader and somebody we all look up to. Cindy, you're one in a million. Hi Genevieve. Um, the first time I met you, you were going to be volunteering here at Hope House and I actually met your mom first and she said to me that she was dropping off her daughter who one day would run a small nation and she definitely wasn't wrong with all the different things that you were doing. You were so deserving to be recognized as someone to watch as a woman of distinction. Tonight, among an amazing group of winners, we are honoring my co-founder of Box, Genevieve Southerns. A winner of the One to Watch Award, Genevieve has displayed many moments being a woman of distinction in this past year. Launching a social enterprise back in March of 2020 at the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic, Genevieve has shown it is possible to both run a business while making a positive impact in the community around her. Genevieve has also had a huge impact in my life and in the life of others. In fact, since before the creation of Guelphbox, she was also a board member for the Hope in the Street event back in 2019 and volunteered at Guelph General Hospital throughout high school. Through Guelph Box, Genevieve has been able to support local businesses through the pandemic and able to donate over $30,000 to local charities as a way to give back to this awesome community. Victoria is this year's Turning Point Award winner because she deserves the recognition and support from the community. Victoria is an incredible human being and an even more incredible woman. She is an involved member of the TAPS program and TAPS community. She is always one to come to program even if she has been in school all day or can only come for a short amount of time. She is one of the strongest people I've ever had the pleasure of meeting. She has two incredible children who love her and I couldn't be more proud of Victoria. Congratulations, Victoria, on winning this year's Turning Point Award. Hi, my name is Janet Harris. I'm the mother of Victoria Harris, the recipient of the 2021 Women of Distinction Turning Point Award. I'm so proud of how much Victoria has grown as a person since joining the TAPS program. As a participant in the program, Victoria has been introduced to a wide variety of community members and has had the opportunity to discuss new ideas and learn new skills. She's worked on her leadership skills by contributing to the direction of the TAPS program, representing the program at speaking and fundraising events, and providing encouragement and assistance to her peers. She has also been a full-time college student since graduating high school. The TAPS program has been a big part of Victoria's path and I'm so happy that she has received this award in recognition of the progress she has made in her life so far. Victoria, I love you so much.